Have you ever walked by a trash compactor and thought, my goodness, what is that foul smell? Imagine if that were your compactor at your business. A foul rotting odor from a trash compactor gives customers the wrong perception. Some businesses cope with this by scheduling more pickups. Others use masking agents or bleach to camouflage the trash smell without solving the underlying problem. Why waste money on a temporary fix when you can eliminate compactor odor effectively and efficiently with the new Aeromist odor control system? Aeromist is a fast-acting, powerfully concentrated industrial deodorizing system for dumpsters, compactors, and other trash disposal areas. The Aeromist's three, two, go. The Aeromist system is microprocessor controlled and is programmed to operate day and night. One, prepare the installation location. Locate the electrical outlet that is going to be used and make sure the controller electrical cord will reach. Make sure there is a water source nearby to fill the drum. Two, install the controller. Select a nearby concrete wall that is both near the injection point and chemical supply. Caution, do not mount the unit in the direct path of steam. This can short circuit and permanently damage the system. Hold the controller in the desired installation location and with your Sharpie, mark the two spots for the holes where the screws will go in. Set controller aside. With the concrete drill bit, drill pilot holes for the wall anchors. Install the provided wall anchors leaving a tiny gap for the metal to slide into. Next, mount the controller onto the two screws and tighten down. 3. Install the misting bracket. Select the exterior wall of the compactor where you will mount the misting bracket. The best mounting location is as high as possible, while as close to the trash entry point as possible. Do not remove the green rubber tip until installation is complete. With your 3 8 inch to 1 and 3 8 inch step drill bit, drill the hole where the misting nozzle will fit through. Next, insert the misting bracket nozzle into the hole and with your Sharpie, mark the four spots for the holes where the screws will go in. Set misting bracket aside. With a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill pilot holes. Remove the green rubber tip from the misting bracket and insert the nozzle while lining up the holes with your pilot holes. Install the four screws and tighten down. 4. Connect the system. The Aeromist controller has two 3 8 inch beige rubber tubes coming out of the right panel. The tube in the front is the input tube and the tube in the back is the output tube and has the flow arrow pointing to it. Attach one end of the white poly tubing hose to the output tube. Install a retaining clamp around the output tube and hose connection to keep it secure. Measure how much of the white poly hose you will need to reach the Aeromist misting bracket nozzle, then cut off the excess and set aside. Cut the length as short as you can while still being able to secure the hose to the pipes with wire ties and not have it hanging in the air. Connect one end of the white poly tubing hose to the gray Aeromist misting bracket nozzle. Locate the white poly hose that was cut off. Connect one end of this hose to the input tube. Install a retaining clamp around the output tube and hose connection to keep it secure. Connect controller unit to power supply. 5. Fill the drum. Using your bung wrench, unscrew the 2 inch white cap that is closest to the Aeromist label. Drill a 1 and 3 8 inch hole in the 2 inch white cap to allow the pickup tube to pass through with the connector attached. Fill the drum with the appropriate amount of water and Aeromist fluid. See production label for mixing instructions. Note, put the water in first and the Aeromist fluid in last. After the drum is full, insert the unattached end of the hose through the 2 inch white cap from the outside in, then insert the hose into the threaded end of the pickup tube. Insert the pickup tube with hose into the drum and then screw on the 2 inch white cap. 6. Prime the pump. To prime the pump, press the Prime 1 button on the Aeromist controller until the hose to the compactor is filled completely. The pump will run as long as the Prime 1 button is pressed. The pump dispenses about 3 ounces per minute under normal operation with the nozzle in place. The actual flow rate of the pump will vary depending on the product viscosity, tubing distance, and other factors. The steps below will help you in determining the runtime required to dispense the volume needed for your application. 7. Program the controller. Program the controller for 20 events per day. A single mist is called an event and programmable in minutes and seconds. If you program the system for 20 events starting at 5 a.m., the events will run for one minute on the hour for 20 hours and end at midnight. This cycle will start again at 5 a.m. the next day and will ensure adequate flow rate to meet your customer needs. Press the PRGM button. Set the clock to the current time of day. Use the up and down arrows to adjust the time. Note that continuing to go up past noon will change it to PM. Press program again. PE1 will be displayed. PE stands for pump events. Use the up and down arrows to change that to PE20, 20 pump events per day. Press program again. E1 will be displayed indicating that you are going to program the first event. Press program again. Pump start time will be displayed. Use the up and down arrows to change the start time to 5 a.m. Press program again. 
Pump run time will be displayed. Use arrows to set the run time to one minute. Press program again. E2 will be displayed. Use the up and down arrows to change the start time to 6 a.m. Repeat the event programming instructions above to program the remaining pump events E3 through E20 for each hour, 7 a.m. to midnight. After all pump events are programmed, you will return to the blank display. 8. See it in action. The proprietary ODOF formula eliminates the smell of garbage and keeps odors from coming back by emitting a 60-second spray of odor-removing agent every hour. This automatic system requires no maintenance and will continue to control compactor odor around the clock. The Aeromist system is serviced every 28 days by your West service tech. Aeromist is environmentally friendly and biodegradable, so it won't cause damage to your trash compactor. You can feel good about using Aeromist to safely and responsibly remove trash smell for good.